to have Clinton with us, uh, with Back of the Nest today. How are you doing, mate? All right? Yeah, very good, mate. Very good. First question, you're on Match of the Day now. Ever since your humble beginnings, the whole radio, phoning in, putting your opinion across. <laughs> yeah. How are you finding that? Is it more nerve-wracking than playing football? Yeah, definitely, because you know you're going live in front of loads of audience. When I, when I first ever started doing the media, I nearly gave up because I didn't think I didn't feel confident enough. But as I think, as in time you go over and over and start doing more, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's probably one of the best things I've done. I, I, and you're you going to take Gary's job at some point in the future, do you reckon? No, 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 I can't take Gary Linda. <laughs> Gary Linda is the cream of the crop to me, man. I'm learning on people like that. But no, I am enjoying it. I love doing the media and stuff like that. So it's been a good time so far. We spoke to um, Andy Gray the other day. Dude, the real Andy Gray. The Andy Gray. The Andy yeah. Gray, yeah. We, we were talking a little bit about players, whether they should go to clubs because they want to play Champions League football. He's so realistic that there's only four, five, six clubs in the country that are going to be able to do that. Yeah, of course. How, how restrictive is that for a player like Will for something? I mean, would he need to go abroad to look for European no, because football? Or? If you look at a Champions League club, Chelsea, if they had the transfer, he could, he could play at Chelsea. Tottenham, I think he could get into Tottenham team in and around there. I think he's that good. Obviously, it's a bit difficult with Liverpool and Man City now because they've got some fantastic wingers. I'm not saying Wolf is not as good as those wingers because he is as good as those, but they wouldn't need to invest in him like that. And then there's obviously there's Arsenal, all these teams that couldn't be challenging for Champions League. I just feel Wolf's in a position that stage in his career where he probably wants to play Champions League football. But obviously, Palace are in position at the moment where they don't have to sell Wolf. Yeah. So it's a hard one. And obviously, us fans, we love Wolf and Zaha. We want him to stay. But you have to, hear, you have to see it from both points of view. Really and truly, he's probably thought, I've served Palace ever so well now. Yeah. What a different thing he went. Palace fans won't have a go at him for that because he's obviously, a football career is so short. So he obviously went to Man United, it didn't work out. Now he wants to go to another big club. And I feel like he can prove that he can do it. So it's a difficult, but I hope in my heart to heart he does it. And how much of a lesson would it have been for him with his time at Man United before where it didn't go so well? Oh, it would be a big lesson because he'll want to prove that he can succeed at a big club. You know, you see in the way he's playing now, he's got the determination to be really good and the way he's playing and stuff on a pitch, he excites people and that's what you want from him. And that's what you get from him, he excites people. I love watching him play and yeah. as a striker, you should be happy to see him getting balls into the box. He's a terrific player. On that, players we love to watch play, one be second last season. I've never, I've been going to Palace for 41 years now. I know, I know you look yeah. 30, but... I um, know <laughs> you do. It's actually... I was going to watch Juan Bissaka. It's the first time I've ever gone to watch a defender play, apart from maybe Kenny Sampson. Yes. Back. Have we been mugged for 50 mil? Oh, oh, eventually, probably, he's going to go for much more. But after only having one season in the Premier League and getting 50 mil, I think it's great business from Palace, but obviously you see some Man United fans saying, we've been mugged because of his performances in pre-season. But I think 50 million for a person is that a full season is great business listen I didn't want him to go but he's a terrific let young player yeah. in a one on one um, defending position I've not seen some a defender as good as him it's somehow you think you've done him and he, they call him Spider now I think at Man United yeah. he's got those long legs where he wraps the ball around and he's really good and, you know we've lost him but good luck to him I hope he goes and flourishes and has a great career well we've got the guy Mitchell coming through haven't we yes. hopefully I've heard he's better but well if he's, he's better, better that's better. That is a hell of a shout to be fair because that's big shoes to fill because what he wants to exactly play playing at the moment there is very big shoes to fill. Now it's pretty difficult for clubs now, especially Crystal Palace's size, where when we're in the championship we were able to bring more young players yeah. through. I'm looking at the squad now, they're getting on a bit. The average age is something like 28, 29. Is that a dangerous thing to do to have too many old heads? I mean I know they've got the guile, they've got they've got the football in brain more, but No, you like to mix it mix it up for sure. So I think if Palace are gonna sign any players in the window, it'll probably be a few younger players. But you still need experience. I don't buy this where people say, ah, oh, you've got too many, um, get rid of it because you're 28, 29, you should be offered a new deal and stuff like that. Experience is really experience is really important. But we do need some young fresh blood in there without shadowing that and hopefully we do a bit of business with for the window. Okay, one last question for you. Dougie, 
What a legend. What can you tell us about him? You've played a little bit. Great player to play with. Probably one of my best partner armor strikers I've played with at Palace. He's, his understanding of the game is brilliant. We used to have this telepathic understanding where we both knew where each other was going to be on the football pitch. And I think I played my best football when I was out front with him. He's still a great guy now. I still speak to Doug. Um, he knows how much I love football. He loves football. He's doing a terrific job at Crystal Palace. Long may continue. Thank you very much. No worries. It's a pleasure.